you want to know one quick, simple phrase that I tell all my students that guarantees they win more points, games, and matches? This is probably one of the matches, and I'm going to share it with you. So if you want to know, stay tuned. So you're probably thinking, what is this phrase, and how is it this powerful? The phrase is... Are you in trouble or are you in charge? See, most players, when I watch them play, they're making this ginormous mistake. They're never saying this phrase inside their head. Am I in trouble or am I in charge? And you're probably thinking, like, why is that important? Because this is why it's important. A lot of times we get a ball like this and we go, I'm in charge. Oh, no, I'm not. You get a deep ball that's very difficult to hit, which means you're in what? You're in trouble. So if you understand this now, you're saying this phrase, you wouldn't try to hit this shot, taking on the rise. And so the whole point of saying, are you in trouble, are you in charge, is to calibrate what type of ball you're getting. Because so many times we think, I'm just gonna hit the same ball no matter what. Well, the pros don't do it, so why should you? Meaning that when they're in trouble, they hit a ball that's safer. Sometimes it looks like a slice. Sometimes it looks like adding more topspin and height to the ball. At lower levels, you can add more height. At higher levels, you gotta be a little bit careful. But the same thing applies. Am I in trouble, in charge? So, let's define in trouble and in charge first of all. Make sure we're both clear. When I'm in charge means I'm set up and the ball I can strike in my strike zone and be very comfortable. Generally, I'm set up and I can rotate. When I'm in trouble means I don't have a lot of time to hit the shot. I'm generally running or not set up or the ball's not in my strike zone like the previous ball I just hit. It wasn't in my strike zone. I had to rush to hit it. Now, what do we wanna do? We wanna gauge, am I in trouble in charge, and respond the right way. Meaning that if I'm in trouble, like this ball, instead of taking it on the rise like that and trying to hit a ball, well, why don't I just back up a little bit and play it higher and bada bing, bada boom. Because now I stay in the point and then I get another chance to maybe be in charge. Now, the other side of it is what if I get a ball that now, bingo, I'm in charge. Ooh, perfect ball. I can be more aggressive or I could just not make a mistake. Again, the big issue is this. You have to start saying this because this isn't just for ground strokes, this is for everything. If I'm running, stretching for a ball, I'm definitely in trouble. So play it safer because here's the thing, and this is the last big point. When you're in trouble and you're taking a high amount of risk, you're gonna probably lose the point. Here's the question you should ask yourself. Have you or your opponent ever missed a simple, easy duck? A ball that you should put away. Everybody has. Everybody, even the pros, miss easy shots who are like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. Why did they miss that? Because their opponent got one more ball in play. They realized that, hey, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna make you play one more ball. I'm not gonna go for the winner. And if you win it, kudos, you won it. And that's the key. You wanna make your opponent beat you, you don't wanna beat yourself. And by understanding this phrase and using this phrase, it's gonna absolutely guarantee that your opponent has to beat you, which guess what? It's very, very hard. And so now that you know this, the next thing you need to know is, what are the four phases of a point? Because if you understand the four phases of a single point, you can set it up so you can be more in charge of the time than being more in trouble.